それ、力ある道具だね。え、ことで、あゆだにやっうんうん、まだ。通りかかっただけ。I got these from press. They're the real thing since they kept the ghost away for me. 本物というか、その紙切れ自体が一種の魔物だね。No way! 地球ではよくあること。魔物は契約者が必須だから、ノラってのはいないけどこういう道具みたいな動かなくてちょっとの力しかないものは割と流出してるんだだからたまに質屋さんとかでヘロってマジックアイテムが並んでたりするの面白いでしょ Yes very like a video game I like this I have a reason to live again ゲーム感覚で生きてるな調べてみないとわかんないけどエネルギー自体は使用者から徴収してるんだねだから契約者がいらないこういうの作るの難しいんだよ、so there are things summoners aren't so、good at? ねえそれちょっと調べてみたいから借りていい yeah, sure. I hand the to コトリ案あんがとじゃあ仕事に戻るね she holds it to her chest and runs off. Why is she in such a hurry? Some ribbons are floating in the air. Apparently, this girl is the key. Hey! No reaction. How has humanity been lately? We've been trying to be more eco friendly. She spoke. Eco friendly. Not eco. Eco. Come on. Correct. Suddenly, she bites my right arm. Ow! Hey, get off! She looks at me blankly. I think she was reacting to my aurora. A voice comes from afar. So much for communicating with her. I leave the girl alone and go somewhere else. Kotori is hard at work. She's got tons of tools lined up next to her. A chisel, a saw, an owl, a hammer, a surgical scalpel, scissors, woodworker's glue. They have nothing in common. I look over her shoulder. She is taking the organs out of a crow's stomach. I look away. It's burned into my eyelids. Censored, blurred out. Kotori takes off her mask and explains. Please tell me that sooner. So, wait, you don't summon familiars by chanting a spell? By stitching a bunch of animal parts together? So there is a spell chanting part. Who is Kinchi? Kinchi is a very good person. Oh, okay. Is that also kind of familiar? Is that also kind of familiar? Still, these facilities are amazing. Are they all familiars? Hmm, but it still took a while, right? Half your life? Of her life? Does it mean that she's 20 years old? Kurodi, you're incredible. You didn't even get anything for doing all this. For just a moment, Kotori looks like she's about to cry. Uh, what's wrong? I'm here for you. Kotori wipes her eye and smiles. What about other summoners? So, even Pokemon have a ton of restrictions on them in real life. <laughs> yeah, we do. 
What level is Chibi Moth, by the way? He is small but really strong. Wow! What about the leaf dragon? That one seemed super strong. What? That thing? Seriously? Only medium? So that's just the mid boss? That's kind of incredible. Do uh, druids have any original designs? Was it one of your servants? No offense, but it seems pretty weak. I remember seeing creatures like that in the Lord of the Rings movie. <laughs> so those are real too. Wow. Wow, now I want to read about that. The crow corpse has been soon back up. You're gonna revive that? Kotori rubs the corpse once, and then... The corpse convulses a number of times, then awkwardly picks itself up off the ground. I'm speechless. I'm just stunned by the miraculous fact that it woke up right in front of my eyes. The crow spreads its wings and flaps. It flies for about 50 centimeters, then plummets to the ground. It rivers around on the ground. The crow soon stops moving. She pokes it. What just happened shocked me more than I expected. The fact that Kotori is completely okay with this is making it worse. It looks like she's toying with life. Well, this is definitely worth covering up. For Chibi Moth, did you have to mess with Pedro's body too? Well, thank goodness you revived him successfully. But Chibi Moth feels similar. Are you sure? Chibi Moth has so you can bring him around town? そう。People do stumble in here? I see. Well, getting most people to avoid this place is still pretty impressive. マンモスの牙だけでも土とかを素材にしてマンモス型は作れるけどそれだと街中で目撃されたらアウトでしょ? They kind of are seeing it. I tell Kotori what I have read on the internet. Kotori-san のミステークや… She holds her head. So what happened to his power to confuse everyone? 量産型にはないのだ. He has a mass production version? Anything's possible here. I guess she needs them to protect the key. Kuduri has made a lot of sacrifices to put all this together. But what does she gain from it? And those corpses in the forest? I don't know the details, but it's pretty clear she's risking her life here. I suddenly realize Kuduri is in an extremely desperate position. Kuduri, what you're doing here? Will it ever end? But I don't get the chance to finish that question. Because Kuduri starts crying, still holding her head. She's been carrying all of this, all by herself, all the sadness and unfairness. Why did I think this was fun? It's not. It could never be. Whatever the story behind this, it's serious and it won't end without pain. I remember my role. I came here to bring Kotori back. I have to support her. I need to start trying harder. Something big is going to happen, that's obvious. That fact hits me with the force of a divine revelation. After that, I start looking around the area, obsessively. 
I'm trying to learn the terrain, so I can run away without any hesitation if the need arises. That's all I can do right now. I'm not prepared to kill people, and I don't have the skill for it anyway. I had a tough time holding my own against a low middle tier monster, well, more like it almost killed me. In my mental dictionary, the entry for suicide charge reads, too scary to ever choose. The best I can do is grope for a strategy. Sadly, that's the only thing I can do for Kotori. She has plenty to eat and places to sleep. Plant-based familiars are making her life here easy. That pitcher plant I thought was a toilet actually was. Apparently, that one was something Kotori made up. It was stupid. Kotori has been busy all this time with keeping the barrier up and increasing her army. She's been running circles around this place for ages. Evening comes and then night. She pats her shoulders and walks back. Welcome back, master. Living in seclusion like this must be a pain. Is that how it works? Actually, about that. I sat down, Caesar style. Let me help you. Kodori smiles. She's cute. Yeah. It was so cute. Did you really have to say it like that? That just hurts. Please. I can pay you. But it's so hard for you out here. Uh, I know I'm useless, but... I've been thinking for a long time about what I could do. I did come up with one thing. My eyes are good. All my senses are sharper now. I could be a lookout for you. That would make sense. So much for grasping it at straws. I know Kodori has all these special skills, but she is still just a single girl. She must feel uneasy at times. Why won't you let me get involved? Now you said it, it's dangerous. You're doing dangerous work out here. That's why I'm worried. If this is temporary, why bother transferring? You're not planning to hide out here forever, are you? That ribbon girl. Hey, why not abandon this place and go hide out in the countryside or something? How bad is that? She would lose her lifeline. So she has to protect this spot. I see, so that's why you had to leave. The more I hear, the worse this gets. People have died too. I don't know what's going on behind all this, but it's possible someone will attack Kotori. Does she even have any plans for the future? Isn't she just running towards a cliff? I want to help her. There must be something I can do. <coughs> the people who want the key will give up? If the key is as important as you say it is, I don't think they will. The gloomy face tells me I'm right. Familiars are pretty convenient. By making them, she has a powerful army that doesn't even need weapons. Making more familiars increases her firepower. Kodori is doing that because she doesn't know what she might be up against. From what she's told me, she can't abandon the power spot even if Gaia figures out where she is. 
She'll have no choice but to endure a siege here if that happens. In a modern constitutional state like Japan, it's hard to believe this sort of thing is happening. We are screwed if they find us. The larger army will only delay the inevitable, which means... When I saw the leaf dragon, when Chibimoth saved me, the leaf dragon and its summoner saw all that. Crap. One more screw-up will ruin everything. This is no joke or game. This is a war. I'm definitely not going home. This isn't exactly fair, but I'm willing to go this far. They might already be after me. She's silent. Kuriri can't tell either way, so she has nothing to say. If someone looked into us a little, whether they were summoners or their enemies or some spies or whatever, I think they'd notice something was odd. Maybe not yet. But it's not like summoners can't hire detectives. A professional human detective wouldn't be that easy to spot. Besides, I've bumped into quite a few familiars. How much do summoners know about what their familiars saw and heard? ま、魔物の活動状態と位置が直感でわかる程度。魔物使いが近くにいればいるほど、情報は伝わりやすいね。共感能力に特化したタイプ。魔物と魔物使いの間の共感のことね。映像とまではいかないけど、会話くらいは
守れとしか教えてくれなかったから<笑> This is strange I wasn't expecting that But she's serious I guess I won't be bringing Kotiti back anytime soon I just have to stay with her until this is all resolved But will this ever be resolved? <laughs> 